Good one. Push, push, push. Had a good uh, preparation for Georgia. We got two almost pre-season days in on Friday and Saturday, break on Sunday, then a traditional test week preparation. So we feel like we've had a much better preparation for this game than we did for the Italian game. The main focus has been about getting our set piece right and getting our defence right. Yeah, they're the hallmarks of our game and if we get that right, then it creates opportunities for us to attack with the ball. We just feel the way the game's going, particularly we've seen the number of times that uh, teams are faced with playing with 13 or 14 men at the end of the game, that a player who can play both uh, a backline position and a forward position could be very valuable for us. So, yeah, it's a little bit of an experimentation at the moment and we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Thor's been outstanding, he's got a great aptitude to learn, He's enthusiastic and he's got the physical prowess to play in both positions. Ready? Go, 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 Go! Obviously, the space, and we moved the ball quite a lot. Though it was just good decision making. It weren't, it weren't trying to play, play expansive. It weren't trying to play tight. It weren't trying to be anything. It was playing what's on. It's good decision making, and that's where we want to get to. Eh? We want to get better and better at that. Because first and foremost, we're three teams. We're three teams. We run first, move the ball to space when it's on. Oh, oh, <laughs> sir, sir. You go so wide. One go. You get one go. One go. One go. One go. One go. One go. Yeah. We'll give Black another chance there. You ready? Come on. Shut down. Hit, hit, and the hit, 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 Shonne Ofahimani Jr. for Nepola to the world on Thursday of the 4th of November, um, which was pretty special because it was the day after my birthday. I was hoping it would be the day of so that I didn't have to celebrate my birthday anymore. But yeah, it was, it was quite a, I'd say emotional time. Um, I watched the whole thing. Uh, I talked to a few of the boys here. That, they didn't, they didn't fancy it, um, but I was so interested and so impressed by the amount of strength that my wife showed. So I kind of just wanted to see how that all played out. And um, yeah, something that I don't think I'll ever forget. Awesome, man, awesome. There wasn't much sleep. Um, the boys kind of warned me about that, my brother and so on, but I was in for a bit of a shock, a big shock. I just would wake up at like 2 a.m., 3 a.m. and just stare at him and change his nappy and because um, that's all I could do in any way that I could help Simone have some sleep um, and have a little bit of respite was um, obviously important, important but um, I think that time was special for me, especially because I knew I only had uh, two or three days with him. I had a good chat with Slady actually in Italy after the game and his feelings straight after it, 
he said he sat there for three hours, skin to skin with his little girl, just crying. And I was so pumped that I wanted that feeling and, and that's exactly how it felt. Back in August, on the 14th of August, something really special happened. I, my uh, missus gave birth to our wonderful little daughter, Olive. Yeah, I can't speak highly enough of, of how well they're both doing. Uh, I'm so proud of them both for how well they've, well, how well my missus has coped and, uh, and been, been doing with it, but also how well Olive's sort of taken to, to life, really. I've actually just been changed as well. I'm not normally an emotional guy, but when, when she was born, I was I burst in tears and couldn't speak for two, three hours afterwards. People were trying to talk to me, the midwives. So I just said, sorry, I just can't. I literally couldn't. Every time I opened my mouth, I was, Ooh, I was a mess oh, again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, is fat. Thankfully, I had uh, a good bit of advice from, from all the boys, really, who had kids before me, just about, uh, about how to change a nappy. It was a pretty, pretty new thing for me. There's not really been any kids in my family that I've uh, had to deal with like that. So. Being told I was changing nappies definitely definitely saved my hands from getting covered in poo. Um, so uh, yeah, thanks, boys. It's nice to see uh, a lot more boys now that have got little babies and little families, and and also not reminisce, but remind me of especially those early years. I'd reached a couple of highs in my career, you know, getting capped and reaching certain milestones and winning a couple of bits and bobs. But none of that comes close to, to the feeling that you actually get when you've got your, your very own little, little bubba in your arms. Um, and it actually made me more calm. Rugby now wasn't the be all and end all. Um, it wasn't the biggest thing in my life anymore. As going out on socials together, winning and losing as a team together, um, training on the field, those experiences go, they bring you closer together. The more you do it, the closer you get with it all. Um, but those sort of off-field moments and experiences that you can now both, or as a group, the older boys and the younger boys relate to, um, I think are really starting to bring us that bit closer and that bit tighter um, on and off the field. Elliot annoyingly is doing very well somehow and he's letting everyone know about it as well, so that's brilliant. Shot, baby. It's nice to see Dylan here. Yeah, we love to see guys who have been involved with the team come back and, and see how the team's progressed. And he was one of the guys that set us on a on a path of success. Uh, we've had we're gonna have to work even harder to keep that keep the team successful and it's great to see Dylan here. The group be either really polite or they actually like me. I don't know. I was well received, which is nice. Had a good bit of lunch, uh, watched training, caught up with a few old faces, and um, just brushed up on a little bit of my knowledge uh, about what the what the team are trying to do and and, and how they're achieving it. Um, it was it was a really good day. Um, it's funny because you know being on the field, um, the the smell, the sound, the the, the feeling that you get. Um, you want to contribute naturally, uh, but I had to kind of pinch myself a few times and remind myself that uh, it's a, a previous life. But uh, no, it was, it, was, it was great to be out there, really enjoyed it. But a day like this, when it's wet, it's rainy, it's a small contest that really counts. Things that 
most people don't see, but your teammates do see. And get out there and play really hard for yourself, play hard for your teammate, make someone at home in your house smile today. Absolutely chuffed, thank you very much mate. It's um, yeah, an absolute honour and something I've always dreamed of. <laughs> Couldn't have got here without any of them, all my family that, that support me, um, such a massive group and, and the support that I always have around me, I'm so grateful for that. And, and yeah, hopefully one day I, I get another opportunity to do it in front of them, but uh, for now I'm just going to enjoy tonight. Sort of overwhelmed by it all, uh, obviously disappointed my, my family can't be here, but I know they're all together at home uh, and they're immensely proud, so I'm, I'm very happy, happy that uh, they can't obviously share this experience here with me, uh, but they're at home sharing together. One, four, one, nine. <laughs> <laughs> 